Well, hi everybody, and welcome to a special edition of Guy and Dave. And uh, it's actually Guy, Dave, Dave. and Monica. So um, we thought we'd come together as a team at this end of the really very difficult year that it's been to just hopefully bring a bit of a fun and friendship uh, into your into your Christmas, really, because. What we often do with many of you, and some of you at home have maybe done this before, is a Crispingle. Now, I've got my nativity here. Uh, i tell you what, Dave and Monica, you can play at home, is shout out a character from the nativity. Dave, quick, now. Joseph. Monica. Mary. Dave. The shepherds. Monica. Um, the sheep. Dave. <laughs> Dave. Um, the wise men and women. <laughs> Monica. Um, ooh, is there a cow in there? <laughs> now, you guys have been really, really good at guessing what's in the nativity, but you know what? You've missed the point. Ooh. And you've missed the point that Jesus is the centre of Christmas. Uh. Come on, the baby. But actually, that baby was going to grow into a man and die and rise again so that we could be in relationship with God, the king of the world. Wow. Now, I'm going to put this down because we've got lots of things that we'll need to hold and uh, push around and all sorts of stuff in a minute. Um, so just hang on a second. I've got to do it carefully because otherwise that would be embarrassing, wouldn't it, on TV? We're going to summarise this whole book, God's story, in one word wow. and a few props. Are we ready? Yeah. yeah. So I take it you guys, um, Dave, Monica, you got your props ready? What? Hey, um, looking not hmm. too convincing there. Yeah. You at home, yeah. you at home hopefully uh, you might have got some of your props together, but obviously you have the ability to pause the video and uh, go and find your props if you need them. I'm sure that somewhere as well, Dave will have done something fancy on his presentation to let us know what we need to collect. So I'm going to give you a few ideas, apart from a Bible. It's good to have a Bible around when you're doing the Christingle. Um, so here we go. Some of these things you might need if you want to rush and get them. You might need an orange. Uh, you might need a compass. You might need a cross. You might need some cocktail sticks. You might need a candle. You might need a, a biro. Uh, you might need a world. Some, some sweets, hopefully you can find some. Uh, some raisins or some dried fruit. And some foil. And hopefully a bit of sellotape and something red. I guess, guys, you got all that prepared earlier. Um, um, are you ready to go? Them. Let's go. Sorry, guys, you said you were getting it already, so let's go. Right. Okay, so here we go. What you need first, of course, is everybody, is to take and find an orange. Orange. Dave, right, Michael, let's see the oranges. I'm just kidding. Uh, okay. okay. I got some. Okay, great, brilliant. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Right, Monica, let's see your orange. <laughs> that that that's that's a, a satsuma, Monica. <laughs> is that is that all you got? That's that's rubbish. <laughs> look at what I've what? got. Look at the size of mine. My goodness. That, that, I'm sorry, everybody. Dave's obviously brought his duvet. Oh, look, it's an orange. Look. Just I, massive. I like it. I like it. So, wow. That's well, an orange. Yeah. Let's find out what it means. Now, I showed you all sorts of other things as I introduced it today. Um, can anybody guess what object might go with my orange that I showed you earlier? I'll give you a clue. It was big. And it was round. Did you watch the introduction? It was round. 
Shout mm. it out if you think you know oh. the answer. Santa's belly. That wasn't something I showed you, Dave. Oh. Not at all. There's something red. No, something round. Round. Big and round. Oh. Um, I don't know. Give you a clue. Uh, oh. oh, the world. The world. Yes, brilliant. Uh. Uh, and that's why we have the orange. The orange is, is something that's big and it's quite round. Yeah. And actually that helps us remember about God's creating the world. God created the world. He loved the world so much, the Bible tells us. And actually after he created people, God says it was very good. So everybody who's watching this, let me tell you this. The Bible tells us that God thinks you are good. Okay. Now, what do we need now? Well, what we need is the biro. Because we need a biro, because actually this is pretty much the safest way to put a hole in the top of your orange. Mm -hmm. Dave's already got one. Already so you got, literally yeah. give it a good shove. You can ask for some help if you want. Give it a good shove, and then you get your hole in your orange. Now, and don't use don't use your parents' favourite pen. No, that wouldn't be good. Good, good advice there, Dave. Yes. Good advice. Mm. Well, what you need is you need your something red. That might be a ribbon. That might be a piece of um, red paper. And you need to take that and you need to wrap it around your orange. Oh, look, Dave's already I actually... Prepared. Prepared. I'm Everybody prepared. Goes, you are. I feel Ooh. so unprepared. Yeah, well, yeah. Are we doing this? So here we go. And that should stick on there. Fantastic. Now, can anybody remember one of the items I showed you that might help us think about what the red ribbon or your red paper may represent? I had all sorts of items on there. Shall I give you a clue? I'll give you a little clue. It's coming in at the corner there. Ah, um, it's a cross. A cross? Well, what's the cross, cross got to do with Christmas? That's Easter. Guy. Come on, even yeah. I know that. <laughs> well done, Dave. Oh, really? Dave, yeah. there is a connection, of course, yeah. because actually Christmas is all about, I guess, celebrating the birth of Jesus. Easter is about celebrating the death and the resurrection of Jesus. Yeah. And the Bible tells us that certainly during communion, during uh, Monday, Thursday, Jesus says, drink this. This is my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. So the idea of the ribbon is to remind us of the cross, of Jesus' death and his resurrection so that we could be in relationship with Jesus if that's what mm. we decide to do. Does that make sense, Dave? Uh, a lot of sense, yeah, that's really good. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, so that's why we've got a cross there to remind us about that. Now, what do we need next? Well, here we go. Question for you guys. You at home as well um, or wherever you're watching. How many corners of the world are there? Uh, wait, I can answer this one, right? The world, this is a trick question. The world's round. It's a sphere, isn't it? So it hasn't got any corners. I was just going to say oh. that. It's no corners, yeah. is it? Come on, guy. You're, you're meant to be running this today. We're just helping. <laughs> oh. Is that helping, Dave? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> All right, okay. How many directional corners are there in the world right monica oh. she's doing a little down left and right <laughs> left and right not quite let me give you another clue it's coming in here uh, oh so you're talking about north south east and west yes and how many is that four four, four. fantastic so that just reminds us that God's love is all around the world, every direction, north, south, east, and west. So what we have there to remind us of that is four cocktail sticks. Mm. Cool. I don't have any. Do I'll you get mine in a minute. Okay, right. You Great. You get yours in a minute then, Dave. That's yeah. fine. Now, there we go. So we have, I'm going to do a quick fire quiz. Orange. What's the orange? The world. The world. Excellent. Okay. What's the ribbon? Jesus. Uh, Jesus. The, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. That's it. What about the cocktail sticks? 
The four corners of the North, world. south, east and west. Fantastic. And actually, that Jesus' love is there for everyone. Now, if you turn it upside down, you get a little bit of a spaceship. Oh, yeah. But actually, that's not a Chris Dingle. So you need to turn it back up the right way. And this is the bit where you've got to be careful. And parents, if you're doing this at home, you need to remember to have spare food with you because actually what we're going to stick on here is we're going to stick on some sweets sweet oh, okay. Back. Oh, okay Dave I guess right. sweets. we're going to stick on some sweets and we're going to stick on some raisins or sultanas whatever you've got at home because actually these are there to remind us about the great gifts that God has given us God created the world full of provision full of things for us to enjoy full of things of us for us to know that he is really a God who loves us. You know, if we look outside and we see the world, we may have had a really tough year, but God has provided so much that we can be thankful for. Even really, really little small things like raisins, they're so full of uh, energy and they're brilliant. And uh, of course, everyone's going, no, the sweets are the best one, guys. So ha guys, how are we doing with our, uh, four seat, our, our four cocktail sticks and our... Monica? I've eaten my sweets. But I found one. Okay. But you've... <laughs> well, so I, I could do you better than that. Look, look at what I've got. <laughs> look at all I've got four. Oh, wow. <laughs> look at that. Oh, amazing. Mate, I never realised you loved cleaning. <laughs> oh, uh, every, everyone should love cleaning. Look at that. Imagine okay, if that was sweets. Wow. I know, yeah. Imagine sweets that big. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Well, I, mean, I think maybe, Dave, we should put out a bit of a health warning for you. Don't eat those sweets, eh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, right. Well, we've got everything now. So the next thing we need is a bit of foil. If you've got a bit of foil at home, grab a bit of foil. And um, what do we think that's for, guys? Uh, I, I can uh, easy, yeah. Um, you know when you like cooking your turkey, especially at Christmas, when you cook your turkey, you put it in the the baking tray and it collects all the like all the fats from the turkey and stuff, and then you know, so it's really handy actually to have foil. Yeah, that seems a very practical answer, Dave. Mm, well, Any you know. Thoughts, Monica? Um, well, yeah. It's, you know, you, I cover my sandwiches with it, so it's quite handy. There's absolutely no spiritual significance to it apart from that. It's practical for when you put your candle in. It catches the wax and it saves it going over your hand when you light it. Candle. Mm. Ah. Yeah, you got candles, guys? Oh, can um... I'll have to get one. Okay. Okay. Oh. Have you got candles, guys? There's my candle. <laughs> Look at what she's got. Uh. Dave, it's the candle, though, isn't it? Yeah, well, look at this. What is it, Monica? It's a Christmas birthday candle. Uh, well, that's fine. That'll do. Yeah, look at mine. Look how... Look, oh, that's my goodness, look at that, Dave. Dave, yeah. a lot of effort gone to there. I'm well, you know... Right. So, um, okay... Now, what is the candle going to represent? Um, Any ideas? Okay. The goes. light. Jesus is the uh, light. Yeah. Jesus is the light. Jesus is the light of the world. Fantastic. Yeah, the world. That's it. I am the light of the world. Okay. I wonder what that means. Have you two any thoughts about what that might mean? Well, is it to do with all the, the darkness in, that's in the world? Is it to do with being the opposite to that pretty much dave i think that's pretty good so actually i'm going to do it don't do this uh, don't do this but if you take away your candle actually the world even though it looks great you know it's, it's it can be very dark it can be a very sort of uh, dull place actually on my orange you know there's the spots that you know are, are i can't see but actually when we bring the candle in it lights up the orange and mm. actually it lights up the space around it and actually that's exactly it. Jesus wanted to bring light into our lives, to show us 
who God is, to direct us towards God, that God's love is great. And actually, we need to follow Jesus to, um, to, to know that love. That's what Jesus said in the Bible. And uh, actually, there it is there. If you want to look for it yourself, Google it. Jesus Light in the World and see if you can find it and maybe let us know. But you know what? I reckon we've done enough sitting. I think it's time for a song. Yes. Yes. Right. Okay. So we're going to sing This Little Light of Mine. Um, so it's a nice, simple song and we're going to get faster and faster. But we've got some actions because it wouldn't be an action song without actions, will it? So um, Guy and Monica are going to show us what the actions are. So, the, so it goes, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. So it does that a few times and then at the end it says, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I'm going to do let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Or you can do whatever you want, so do some dancing. So are we all, is everyone ready? Go. Cool. So we'll start nice and slow and then we'll get faster and faster. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. That's really good. But it's still a little bit faster. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This is the light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. A little bit faster. This is the light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This is the light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This is the light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I'm right, really fast now. Let's see if we can keep up. This is the light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This is the light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This is the light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, 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 let it shine. Awesome. Well done, everyone. Right, let's go back to Dave, Guy and Monica from a few minutes ago. That was brilliant. And I hope you enjoyed singing This Little Light of Mine, all the actions. And I hope Dave didn't go too fast for you at home. Well, like we said, a Chris Dingle isn't a Chris Dingle without lighting the candle. And I guess our lives aren't uh, fully um a light without jesus in them but you know what let's light our candles so if you've got some supervision at home uh ask a parent grab a parent uh or you can light it after we finish uh but i'm gonna light mine i'm gonna get the guys to light theirs as well so i'm gonna light mine first monica will light hers and then i don't know where dave's gone but okay at least we've got some candles lit anyway Let's hope it like. Oh, there we go. Like go on, Monica. What? And that? What, Dave? Where's Dave? Dave. He's here. There oh you look, are. he's got it on. Where's your candle, Dave? Wow. He's a single. <laughs> See, that's why I had all the giant stuff. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> I would suggest, Dave, you don't light your candle though. No, well, that's a good, good I advice. I a bit there. of light there. Okay, well, we do hope you enjoyed this little run through our Chris Stingle, just reminding ourselves of this Christmas uh, what the Bible's all about, what the Bible teaches about Jesus being light of the world. And um, what we'd like you to do is in a moment, we're going to ask Monica to say a prayer for us, uh, to bless us this Christmas. And then actually we're going to just do a little bit of a uh, bit of a musical intro to Silent Night. But before I ask Monica to pray as we end today's Chris Dingle, is can I just remind you that there is loads and loads of stuff, loads of videos on the Ridgeway Methodist Church Facebook page. You can even find Ridgeway Methodist Church on YouTube. What's the address day for YouTube? 
Well, if you type in Ridgeway Methodist, um, Plimpton Methodist Church on YouTube, it'll come up with all, all our videos and our channels there, and you can go through it all and find lots of different videos, um, including all the ones we did over the, the first lockdown as well. If you bored. That's brilliant. Yeah, something to do over, over the Christmas holidays. So, uh, could I wish you a Merry Christmas? It's a Merry Christmas from the team. Monica's going to pray. Well, you Merry can light your candles during the musical int int interlude. And then feel free and join in singing Silent Night. And it's goodbye from us. Monica. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much that you give us the most amazing gift, Jesus Christ, in our lives our only hope through times of darkness. We thank you, Lord, for his guidance, his light. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.